Lay it all on the bobtail nag, doo da, doo da. I took my money home and a tater bag, oh doo da day. The phone lines filled up? They certainly are. Hey, listen, I got a gift for you from a caller. What the heck is this thing? Oh. It's Lincoln, you idiot. Well, it kind of looks like Lincoln. <laughs> if I die in office, I want my picture on the $5 bill. Well, maybe it is Lincoln. I don't know. Listen, Professor, the general manager wants you to, uh, Put the microphone in the stand. No more handheld. I'm going to hold the microphone. No. That's what Abraham Lincoln would do. I'm the Lincoln expert. Did you ever see pictures of the Gettysburg Address? He's holding a microphone. He's not holding a microphone. Yeah, the technology was very primitive back then, but he was there with his microphone. He was in the stand. And I'm going to hold it just like President Lincoln did. What the hell's wrong with you? Welcome to, and can you believe it, our 10,000th show. For three hours every day, we solve all the dilemmas in your life by telling you, what would Abraham Lincoln do? Let's go to the phones. Phoenix, what's your question? Professor Swain, you could fool all the people some of the time. But you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. What's your question? I'm having a dinner party and I'm not sure what kind of fish to serve. What would Abraham Lincoln do? Well, it's our educated guess that the president was partial to Salmon because Salmon P. Chase was his Treasury Secretary and Supreme Court Justice. Dallas, go ahead. Professor Swain, you can fool all of the people some of the time. But you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. What's your question? My husband has a bad habit of always digging up the past. I told him he needs to move on. What would Abraham Lincoln do? The president would fully support your husband in digging up the past. Some 36 years after his assassination, the president himself was exhumed. Dug up, if you will. So yes, it, he'd be fine with digging up the past. Las Vegas, go ahead. Professor Swain, you could fool all the people some of the time. But you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. What's your question? I tried to get into Caesar's Palace, but I don't have a driver's license and couldn't prove I'm 21, so they wouldn't admit me. It seems very unfair. What would Abraham Lincoln do? You're in Nevada? That's an easy one. The president would admit you without hesitation because he admitted Nevada to the Union on October 31st, 1864. How do you think the show's going? Boring as hell. I feel like I'm channeling the president today. Oh, you're channeling something, all right. Do you realize what a stupid idea for a show this is? Tampa, go ahead. Professor Swain, you can fool all the people some of the time. But you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. What's your question? I'm having a problem with my son. He won't drink milk. What would Abraham Lincoln do? The president would side with your son. The president's mother, Nancy, died in 1818 of milk sickness. So it's our guess that the president was not a fan of milk. Except for chocolate. Because I like chocolate, he probably likes chocolate too. Pittsburgh, go ahead. Professor Swain, you can fool all the people some of the time. But you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. What's your question? I have to select a fish to serve for a dinner party. What would Abraham Lincoln do? Caller, we dealt with this question four score and seven calls ago. Caller, you are a lucky Lincoln winner today. I'm holding two envelopes, one in my right hand and one in my left. One contains the title to a Lincoln Continental. The other contains a gift certificate for you to receive a complete set of Lincoln logs. I'll take the envelope in your left hand. You've just won a complete set of Lincoln Logs. Congratulations, caller. 
Well, that's all we have time for today. It's hard to believe we've been on the air for 10,000 shows and we had a little celebration, gave away a gift. But one last thing, we better check with the boss. Mr. President, how did we do today? You did splendid, Professor Swain. I think we have his approval. Lay it all on the bobtail nag, doodah, doodah. I took the money home and a tater bag, oh, doodah day. Yeah. <laughs> round, round.